Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Power Up 365. How are you guys doing this morning? This morning I'm busy climbing this little hill or mountain in Greece. You can see the beautiful view. And um, it is it is cold, it is windy, and um, I'm just climbing this thing because I just want to be real with myself and um, where am I? And as I start 2020, as I get going, and there's a few things that I would like you guys to be real at. And one thing is, you can't change your reality if you're not real and you face it. And the first thing I had to face is, I went through my goals of 2019, and I went through my goals now of 2020, and one thing was health, and I realized I'd actually put on weight. I'd actually put on weight in 2019. Has that ever happened to you? When you actually go to a goal and you put this goal and you want to go forward and you actually do worse? So that means you've got to hold yourself accountable. And um, this morning I just decided, let me just climb up here and say, you know, that this is unacceptable of myself and um, the goals that I want to do. Then the next thing I did, I wrote down all my, my financial position. All the deals I did, good, bad, great, excellent, what, what went wrong, what didn't go wrong. And I, I'm climbing this mountain today and I just want to spend some time just to face some reality of where I am. What, what did I go, where, where didn't I go? But in the same sense, I want to be appreciated for giving it all I got. I want to be appreciated for playing out full. And I want to I want to share that with you today. It doesn't matter your past. Your past does not equal your future. It doesn't matter what you did or what you didn't achieve. What matters is are you going to debrief it? Are you going to look at it? And you're going to say, listen, I'm going to do better this year than I did last year. Your past doesn't can't change you and can't affect you. The only thing you can do with your past is learn from it. And and I'm thinking, yeah, in Greece, and everyone is always against Greece and how bad it is in the economy. And then I look up here and I say, it's, it's beautiful. It's, it's amazing. Um, if you focus on what's wrong, it's available. But if you focus also on what's right, it's also available. So are you going to climb into a cocoon in 2020? Or are you going to step up? Are you going to step up and go for what you want? Are you going to what, look at yourself in the mirror and hold yourself accountable to what happened and what didn't happen? Are you going to say, um, I did not perform there and I will perform there? Are you going to step up into your greatness? What are you going to choose to do in 2020? And this whole next week, two weeks, that's all I'm doing. I'm pushing for 2020. I'm pushing to become better. I'm looking at my companies. What are you doing? What are you doing to push yourself to better, better, better? Or are you feeling sorry for yourself because it didn't go so well in 2019 and you're feeling sorry for yourself? And if you are, how is that helping you? How is that helping you? It doesn't help you to feel sorry for yourself. What helps you is to push forward, dig deep, climb the mountain, feel the pain, feel the cold, feel the wind, feel it and push through and push through and push through and you will win at the end. This is Johnny Liardis, your success strategist, and I'm going to coach you, be with you. I'm going to build strategies for 2020. I'm going to be in your face more than I was in 2019 because we are working. We are going to climb this mountain. We're going to get to the top, and we're going to get the success that we want. Go out there and make it happen. Stop giving up. Build big goals, massive goals for 2020. Make it count. Thank you very much, guys. Johnny Liardis, your success strategist, and I will see you at the top. Cheers. Bye.